Good day guys, welcome to another edition of Fly Fishing in Nature's Realm. Now, um, today we're going to tie another fly, and this is going to be the easiest, simplest fly that you will ever tie. And the food item that it is representing is the willow grub. Okay, now willow grubs you'll find in obviously willow trees, and let me tell you guys. 90% of our rivers and maybe even our lakes have got willow trees growing on their edges and along their banks. Um, it's a plant that is prolific, prolific throughout um, a lot of the different uh, areas around Victoria, New South Wales, Australia. Well, mainly Victoria and New South Wales. And there's a lot of debate as to whether willow trees are, are helpful to the environment or whether they're a detriment to the environment. And um, it's a debate that will uh, continue for a long time. Um, David Scholes has got um, a good little uh, chapter on willow trees in his book, um, Ripples, runs, and rises. I think it is. Um, I'll put up on the screen if I'm wrong there uh, what book it is. But uh, it's an interesting chapter to read and to learn about willow trees. But one of the um, food items that we do get from willow trees is the willow grub, and um, they can be um, in abundance. Um, on the trees and can you know, fall in as a terrestrial insect does fall into the river and it coincides around about roughly the time the grasshoppers are about and this can be a situation um, with um, a fly fisherman fishing grasshopper fly and not receiving any sort of attention to his grasshopper fly and um, You'd think that it'd be the reverse uh, because a willow grub is very small and a grasshopper, um, he gets a lot more calories from a grasshopper. There's no worries about that. But, um, you know, unbeknown to us, you know, trout at times do prefer willow grubs. Um, it's just a, it's just a, 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 a thing that we... Um, we see on our rivers and our streams around grass all the time. So, um, yeah, let's tie this very, very simple fly. And the way we configure it, in my mind, is a great way. And uh, I've had a lot of success um, for this pattern to imitate a willow grub. All right, so what we do is um, we'll, we'll put up our... Uh, our materials that we'll need, which is really not much at all. Um, the main material you will need is to go out and buy these um, foam cylinders. Um, and they're four hoppers and they're in the cut trues colour. Right? So they're a, a beautiful green colour, which is almost exactly the same colour as willow trees, um, with the addition of the end there of the head of the uh, grub, which we'll uh, include into it. So um, that's the main material you'll need, but it's up there above us to have a look at and we can pause that and write that down if we need to. Alright, so let's start uh, tying. First of all we'll need a hook size, probably around about a 14, 12 maybe. That's about the roughness to the size of the willow grubs. And we use a 6.0 thread in olive green all right so we start off just behind the eye of the hook with our thread and we tie it on About halfway we can snip that away go all the way down to the bend of the hook till we're in the position of in line with the barb and then we advance back to 
the middle. Right in the very middle. Alright, now we simply just take out this foam which represents the whole body of the fly. Now we could leave it at that length. I don't think that would have much of a problem there, but I just like to snip off just the end there, just a just a quarter, not even that, less than that. Cut that off. There. All right. Now what we do is we put the body not that way, okay, but that way. All right. Now why do we do that? Well, because it lands on the surface of the water just like a willow grub and it won't tip over it'll land properly all right so we need to tie that in a figure of eight sitting in the opposite way of the hook shack and when it lands it'll land upright every time um, to the way we want it so now we just and that's it guys all we have to do now is wind back to just behind the eye of the hook and we're not finished yet because we've got the body of the willow grub and the great thing about this fly is that and with the body is we can put it into the shape of a willow. We can have it bent back like that, or we can have it um, bent forward, or even just normally straight. But the last thing we do is we get ourselves. Um, now I've run out of it. It's called puff paint. Now puff paint's fantastic. Um, you can get it from um, Spotlight um, in a white or even a yellowish color. Um, and what happens is. We put a bit of the puff paint on the end, one end of the actual um, cylinder and then we get our lighter and light it up and it puffs up with heat and gives it that puff of a, of a uh, head of the actual uh, willow grub. But I've run out of that, but we can use acrylic paint, alright? Now I've got a, a lot of different tubes of acrylic paint in different colours, white, red, natural and so forth. And we just bring up some of that acrylic paint. And there we go, too much there. Just put some on the end of your your noodle don't do a great deal of it and then we just paint the end of it we just put a blob of it on the end a little bit in excess because we want it to really stand out the white head of the willow grub That's all we do, guys. And give that a good amount of time um, to um, dry. And there we have it. And to show you, um, so I'll do that there, and then we'll turn around. And as you can see, 
the actual body of the grub is in the position of not in line with the hook but the opposite way and like I say guys this will land on the water beautifully and uh, you'll see trout just come up for it straight away great little fly easy to tie simple to tie all you need to do is go out and buy these uh, cylinder foam um, cylinders uh, that's all you need to do and um, you're in business all right so um, if you need a great little imitation that's the one there all right guys hope you enjoyed that uh, tying of the willow grub and um, you know if you've got any other willow grubs I'd love to hear about them all right? so um, you could send them in into our comment section there and um, I don't know, I'm, I'm not too sure in the comment section where we can actually include photos but, uh, I've never really thought about that we'll have to check it out all right guys like I say see you next time in uh, fly fishing in nature's run. This is Bruce from saying goodbye. See you later.